St. Clair, also on the center line. Uh, Cedar Hill, DeSoto. You can get to DeSoto from Festus. And then you have to go a little bit further west to get to St. Clair. Those might be other spots. There's Chester, of course. Carbondale, Carterville. So Festus, DeSoto, St. Clair. And I showed you the rest area just south of Festus, right on I-55. Okay, so the plan today, I'm in St. Louis. I'm going to head to St. Clair along I-44. It's about an hour south of where I am in St. Louis. From there, I'm going to head over to DeSoto. Again, these are all right on the center line. And then from DeSoto, I'm going to head over to Olympian Village and then up to Festus on I-55 and then head back on down to Bloomsdale and eventually Perryville where I'm spending the night. So you can see on the map here, St. Clair, about an hour south of St. Louis. Then it's going to take me another 44 minutes of back roads to get to DeSoto. And then from there, I'm going to head up to... Uh, well, I'm actually going to head over to Olympian Village right here. And then back on up to I-55 right here. And just kind of see what this territory looks like. This is all right on the center line. Festus is just north of the center line. And then, of course, that takes us back down to I-55. And that rest area right around mile marker 159, which is all right on the center line. So here we go. Okay, so we're coming up on exit 240 off of I-44 South, entering St. Clair. There is a McDonald's, a Super 8. Um, find out what else is up here. I'm gonna stop and get gas, but this is exit 240 exit 240 off of I-44. Then turn left onto North Main Street. And then we're heading towards St. Clair and eventually into some of the other spots along the path. Right on the center line. Okay, I'm at Silk's Pharmacy, exit 240 off of I-44. There's a McDonald's right there. There's a mobile gas station, another one up the street. Again, I-2, I'm sorry, I-44, exit 240, St. Clair, right on the center line of the Eclipse Path, parking lot of Silk's Pharmacy. Head up the road now and see what else is around. It's a wooded area, there's a lot of trees here. Not a clear horizon necessarily, but you are right on the center line of the eclipse path. This is North Commercial Avenue in St. Clair, heading to DeSoto. I'm on the road between St. Clair and DeSoto. Again, very near the center line. A lot of trees though. So there's a golf course 10 miles outside of Gravoy on Birdie Lane. Okay, I'm on uh, Highway Y again, heading to DeSoto. Started out in St. Clair. And this is kind of what it is just a lot of trees, not a lot of places to spot. Okay, this is Grand View Schools off of State Road Y. And you can see we got a football stadium, baseball park, and some pretty good spaces here. Very near the center line again. Obviously we're not targeting this area, but it's another pretty decent spot in what has otherwise been a tree laden highway between St. Clair and DeSoto. Okay, we are in DeSoto now, and we're getting ready to turn on to State Route 21. We'll see what's up here. Okay, I'm in DeSoto. There's a Walmart right here. I'm assuming, of course, this parking lot will be packed, but it's right on the center line. DeSoto, Missouri. Okay, I'm in DeSoto, there's a Dairy Queen, there's a Hardee's, there's a Walgreens, there's a gas station, 
There's an O'Reilly Auto Parts. Um, you know, there's a McDonald's up here, Subway, Domino's, Pizza Hut. Somewhat of a little bit of an elevation up here. Um, not you're just right up the street from the Walmart, so a lot here in DeSoto. So again, in DeSoto, there's a McDonald's right across the street. Uh, some stuff down there. I'm getting ready to turn. There's a Pizza Hut down there. There's a Subway down there. Um, so there's an Auto Zone here. So there's a Walmart here. There's 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 some stuff here. A little bit of elevation too, so not the best spot, but still adequate. There's a Walgreens right there. Still pretty decent spot for viewing the eclipse right on the center line. Okay, this is exit 162 off of I-55, right up from that rest area I showed you before. Just gonna check this out a minute. Okay, so this is exit 162 off of I-55. We're four miles north of Bloomsdale. And right on the center line again, you can see here we got a wide open space right off of I-55. Some commuter parking. And a pretty good view of the horizon here. I'm assuming again this is all going to be packed on Eclipse Day. But um... We're four miles north of Bloomsdale. We're right on the center line, about two minutes and 40 seconds of duration right here also. And a pretty good spot, potentially, to view the eclipse, including that commuter parking area down there. So this is Bloomsdale Elementary School, right on the center line, off exit 162, I-55. And again, I sincerely hope that this school is aware that there's a solar eclipse coming. Nice wide open grassy space, playground area. Great spot to view it again, right on the center line. This is a roadside park near Bloomsdale. That's the traffic of I-55. Right, St. Genevieve near the County Community Center. Elevation, cornfields, water tower. There's a water tower. To the left is a cemetery. Um, just kind of checking it out here. See the cemetery over there. St. Genevieve. This is right on the center line. Looks like they've got a lot of parking here. And up there is the community center. So there's a lot of spots right around the water tower. Uh, of course, that's cornfields, but the cemetery right there. And as we head toward Progress Parkway and Highway 32, which is where the St. Gene Genevieve County Community Center is located, um, this looks like a pretty good spot also. So this is the St. Genevieve County Community Center. And this is where they're going to have their major event, tennis courts, baseball diamond over there. I'm actually at uh, Braden's Playground right now. So it's a great place for kids. But this is where St. Genevieve is going to be holding their eclipse event. And of course they're right on the center line. 